Hello sweet friends, welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a second grade teacher in West Michigan and it is week two of school. Quick interruption to say a big thank you to Nearpod for sponsoring this vlog. I am so excited to be working with them again. I've worked with them a handful of times and I absolutely love them. So I will tell you more about Nearpod and how I use it in my classroom in just a couple of minutes. So yes, I will show you my outfit really quick and then I do need to print some things and take care of some things. Okay, so here is the outfit for today. It's kind of hard to see because I have like the strap and the lens cap and all the things but this shirt is from Amazon and I will link it below I have it on my Amazon storefront with a bunch of other cute little t-shirts it just says second grade and then has the cute little smiley face and then I just paired it with this long pink skirt and then these little heels that honestly were not super comfortable when I wore them last week but I thought we'd try again today because I think last week was the first time I'd ever worn them and they're a nice like short heel and it's still very very warm so sandals are a must so yes that is the outfit for today and also I just tried getting on the computer to send some of my stuff to the printer and the internet is down so I guess I will not be printing anything this morning I just tried filling out like a help desk request um, but the internet was down and the service in the building is horrible so I think I got it to go through on my phone but jury's still out we'll find out but anyways yes that is the outfit for today and I will see you when I see you okay let's talk Nearpod I'm so excited to be working with Nearpod on this video because I used it when I taught fourth and then fifth grade and now I'm using it in second grade as well and it looks a little bit different how I'm using it in my classroom now versus when I taught fourth and fifth but regardless I absolutely love it there is such a wealth of resources available on Nearpod so I know no matter what I'm teaching in class I can find something based on common core standards I can find something based on student interest I can find something for pretty much anything they actually break it down and tell you what grades the lessons are designed for so you can see if it's appropriate for like K through 5 if it's appropriate for K through 2 or 6 through 8 or whatever it might be but then you can go in and modify those lessons as well which is one of my favorite parts because sometimes I'll find something that's like almost perfect but maybe it's made for sixth graders and I need to change it a little bit so it works for my second graders so I can go in and I can modify that lesson I can change some things so that way I can still use kind of the bones of the lesson and use the amazing content that's out there but just tweak it a little bit so it works for my students one of the things that I've really been enjoying as I'm teaching second grade is using the front of class mode so in this mode you don't need to have the students devices right in front of them which I love because sometimes I just need a break from student devices and with having younger students my students are only like seven or eight years old I don't like them to be on Chromebooks all day long and also it's a struggle like getting logged in and it takes a lot of time and if you're getting out the Chromebooks and having to put them back in and plug them in it's like a whole thing so sometimes I just don't want to do that I love front of class mode because it still lets me use that Nearpod content but use it in a way that works for me and for my students. In front of class mode you can watch a video as a class and stop to discuss key instructional moments using built-in questions. You can also create your own or use the built-in questions to pause for moments of reflection without needing to remember when to go over and pause the video so it's automatically in there for you. You can allow students to answer the questions in any format that you wish and then also I love front of class mode because if you don't have one-to-one -one devices or maybe you just don't want to get them all out like me then it's a great solution so my first year teaching we were not one-to-one -one with devices we were about like one to four one to five so students had to share and that definitely makes things more challenging you have to think a little bit more about how you're gonna do that in your classroom so it's great if you don't have that one-to-one -one capability or maybe you don't have the time or the energy to get all of the devices out and put them back and all that stuff like me then front of class mode is a great solution make sure to click the link in the description box below that's gonna give you three months of free Nearpod Gold, which is a premium membership, but it's available for three months for free when you click that link. So definitely check that out in the description box below. Thank you so much to Nearpod for sponsoring this video. I truly appreciate it and absolutely love working with Nearpod and yes, they are amazing. So definitely go check them out. <laughs> Okay, so now it is Wednesday. Yesterday ended up being a really, really good day. I feel like my kids are really starting to get a handle on routines and procedures and expectations, and the day is just going a whole lot more smoothly because of it, and they're just doing such an awesome job. Like, there were several times yesterday that I was like, oh my gosh, you are all amazing and blowing me away, and I was like bragging to other teachers about them in the hallway, 
and it was just really exciting. So, yay for starting to learn how the day is gonna go, and the day went really, really well. So I'm feeling really good about that. So I feel like I just said really like 10 million times in that sentence, but that's okay. So this morning, I am working on deciding classroom jobs. So I had kids apply for jobs yesterday and like rank the jobs, and I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently this year. I actually had a friend suggest to me doing leadership teams instead of just like having one person on a job. So for example, I have like food leadership team. So they bring in and out the breakfast cooler in the morning and then they'll go get kids food basket at the end of the day and they'll pass out lunch cards. So food team does everything like food related, if that makes sense. And then another job is um, tech team. So there's like a few kids who will help plug in all the Chromebooks and help with any tech questions and all that stuff. So I have several different leadership teams. I'll actually read them all to you. So the first one is line leadership team. So this will be two students. One will be the line leader and one will be the caboose. Tech leadership team, which I just explained. Classroom assistance leadership team, which these kids will answer the phone if I'm not beside it. They'll open the door when somebody knocks, that kind of stuff. They'll help out like guest teachers. And then supplies leadership team will sharpen all the pencils, pass out papers, and get out supplies when needed as well as collect them. Cleaning leadership team will check lockers, run magic scrap at the end of the day, which if you haven't done magic scrap before, I highly recommend it basically you or a kid pick something that's out of place around the room and then you say magic scrap begins all the kids try to find the magic scrap and basically you just keep them going until the whole room is clean and then you announce who found the magic scrap so I love that it's a great way to get the room clean at the end of the day the next one is library leadership team these kids will help to organize our classroom library and make sure it's looking really nice and then also help to suggest books if somebody can't find a book to read food leadership team is the last one and that's the one that I just explained so there's seven different teams and and I had kids rank them in order of the one they want the most as number one all the way to the one they want the least and I told kids they don't have to go all the way to seven but I would recommend going all the way to seven because if a lot of people want the same job you want to make sure you still get a job so I had kids rank all of them and almost all of my kids ranked every single one I think I only had like one or two who only wanted like one certain job so I need to go through these a minute and figure out who is doing what I already have some ideas I was walking around yesterday as they were ranking them and kind of got some ideas of like who wanted to do what so I have some ideas already but I need to actually figure that out so that way I can announce it this morning but yeah yesterday was a really good day I already started doing some watercolor painting with the kids I actually started last week Thursday and then a few of my kids either went home early or whatever so I ended up finishing with the last I think I had four more who needed to finish so I finished with the last four yesterday and I was feeling pretty ambitious that the first like within the first two to three days of school I was already painting with the kids but I did it in small groups like at my table and I I am loving having my table in the front of the room like absolutely loving it it's amazing because I can just like stay in this general zone and have kids come up right by me and I have access to everything at my desk which is so nice so yes that has been really good I am going to log into my computer a moment and then I will show you some of my slides for today and just kind of walk you through some of the things that we'll be doing so let me log in really quick and then also I'll show you my OOTD a quick moment Okay, so this is my outfit for today. I have on this dress and then I have just like a little bodysuit underneath just in case I lean forward. I don't want it to be like, you know, showing everything underneath. And then I always have bike shorts on as well. And then I have these white heels on and the dress and heels are both from Sheen. I try not to shop there a ton, but just being honest, they are both from there. I try not to support them a ton, but um, I did buy this dress and a couple other things for back to school along with these shoes. And I've been wearing these shoes a lot so I really do like those and then this necklace is super cute it's from Kendra Scott and it's like one of my favorites you can't really see it there it is <laughs> so yes that is the outfit for today also yesterday I got my first recess flowers of the year <laughs> so I had a couple girls who picked some flowers for me which always just makes my heart so happy so I put those right by my desk but I probably will need to toss them pretty soon because you know they dry out pretty fast and don't stay good for very long <laughs> but it was a very sweet sentiment also I packed a big road trip bag today because I had a bunch of things to bring in I just got this new lanyard in the mail this was from Amazon so I think I am going to switch over to this probably today so I have that 
that in here. And then also I was sent a ton of stickers and fun stuff off of Amazon from like an Amazon seller. So I will link these below, but yes, I have like a ton of these um, little packs. And then also they sent over like posters and stuff, which was super nice. And also like these little animal fun fact postcards. And then this is my idea of meal prep. So I just got a sleeve of bagels and some cream cheese for breakfast. I'm gonna stick those in my fridge. I do have a toaster in my classroom. Um, and then I brought a banana either for breakfast or lunch. And then also I packed one of these little bags. These are like one of my biggest recommendation as a teacher. These are from Amazon and they're the brand Easy Lunch Boxes. And I absolutely love them. So I have Colby Jack cheese, some chocolate chips, some wheat thins, and then I have some pepperoni and salami in here. And it just makes like the perfect little snack box for lunch. So it's like an adult Lunchable, which is perfect. So I love these. I think they come in a pack of four, I wanna say. Okay, so this is actually from yesterday and my battery is dying, so I have to go through pretty quick. But we're working on short vowel sounds, just some review. And these I bought on TPT as a big set and then I just put them right into my slideshow. They're actually from my Vowel Valley wall and I love having them in my slideshow as well to reference. And then this actual slideshow like template I sell on Teachers Pay Teachers and I love that it has the objective at the bottom as well. So that's something we can always refer back to and one of my goals this year is making sure kids know like what they're supposed to be learning and like their objective throughout the lesson so we worked on some of these yesterday and I just really like how they turned out and then I have some of my curriculum stuff in here as well so I don't want to show too much of that just because I don't want to like get in trouble for that <laughs> but we did our four colors activity again yesterday and I really really like that the kids think it's really fun and it's just a good way to like get to know each other but also just get up and moving we did mystery Doug yesterday this is from mystery science it's like a free thing that they offer and I highly recommend checking it out and yeah today here are some of our slides so this will be on when they get here we do the pledge weekly affirmation I used to do a daily affirmation and then this year I'm switching it over to weekly and then there's a bunch of curriculum stuff that I don't really want to show you and then let's see what else I can show you so we're doing character and setting and before this I have a ton of examples with students Okay, hello. Now it is Thursday, which I feel like this week has gone by really fast, but also we didn't have school on Monday, so that makes sense. So I'm here just a little bit later than I've been here the past few days. Um, so some of my coworkers are already here, but I feel like they all accept me at this point. They all know that I vlog, and so I'm like, you know what? Why not just film even though they're here? So anyways, I am filming in my classroom this morning. Yesterday was a good day. It was a very, very busy day. We started a couple of different assessments that we needed to do. So we do Dibbles assessing for reading every year. And then also we just got the program iReady as a school. So we started that assessment yesterday. So yes, it, we got off to a good start on that. And then I'm really excited to see my kids' Dibbles scores. I love looking at data. I find it very interesting. So I'm excited to see that. It was really nice being able to listen to some of the kids read and how we do it is the whole class goes at once and we have some core support teachers who are testing and then we have a couple of like our EL teachers and some other people and then the classroom teacher for the classroom tests as well so we get through it fairly quick it takes about like five to ten minutes maybe to test each student five ish probably because they have to read some nonsense words and then three passages and then retell the passages so it's quite a lot for the kids but they did a really good job the waiting in the hallway was hard though I will say but that's okay we will work on that so yes overall a really good day yesterday though and then after school yesterday I went and got my nails done so here is the design that I got if you are local to West Michigan definitely reach out on like Instagram if you want a recommendation I always share about my nail place I absolutely love them and what I do is I just draw the designs on my iPad because I can never find like the exact ones that I want on like Pinterest or Google or whatever so I draw them on my iPad and then bring them in and they have some really amazing pieces over at the nail salon that I go to and they always make it happen so yes my nails are fun and new they are super grown out so I'm excited and happy to have new nails so anyways I'm going to pull you off right now and show you my outfit and then I really need to get some things ready this morning because it is one of those days so anyways let me show you my outfit and then I'm going to get started with my day 
Okay, so here's the outfit for today. I can't remember if I showed my new lanyard yesterday. Also, I'm like having so many issues, I feel like, with this strap. Let me just like tuck it. We'll just tuck everything over there. There we go. So I got this new lanyard over the weekend, and it's from Amazon, and I just think it's so cute. It has like little smiley faces on it, and then it has my badge down here, and also I do have some cue cards on here. These are from Teachers Pay Teachers, and I just put the ones that I need, and I don't use these with all my students, but I do have them available for students who would benefit from them and then also I have on this super cute shirt that says second grade vibes and I think it's so fun and this is also from Amazon I have some pink pants which are fun they're like stretchy pants so I almost feel like I'm wearing sweatpants <laughs> but they're a little bit more dressy and then also I have on these loafers I will say I got these loafers um, from Target and I got them in a wide because I do have pretty wide feet but they're definitely like too big like my feet just like fall out of them so I don't know if they have them in store I got them online but if they do have them in store you might want to try them on before you get them if you're thinking about getting these because they don't fit true to size <laughs> so they're definitely too big but that's okay we're making do so yes that is my outfit for today and like I said I need to do some running around so I will see you when I see you <laughs> Okay, so now it is later. It is actually Monday morning, like a week, two weeks later, I don't know. I edited all of the vlog up until this point this weekend though and realized that I never finished it. And then I got a box in the mail this weekend of some books from First Book and I thought it would be kind of fun to just stick this in at the end of the vlog as a little treat for people who have stayed the whole time. And maybe you don't even want to see this, so maybe it's not a treat, I don't know. But I'm excited about the books and so I thought I would share them with all of you. So if you have not heard of First Book before, you absolutely need to check it out it is amazing you can get some really good discounted books and yeah life is good so I will link that below if you're interested hashtag not sponsored by first book but absolutely love them and wait a second here we go I just ordered a few books so the first one that I ordered is the book of ghost boys now this one is definitely more of like a middle grade novel I actually ordered this because I really really want to read it and then I might give it to one of the like fourth or fifth grade teachers but I ordered it in Spanish so yes really excited about that they have a lot of Spanish options on first book then I ordered the newest Mindy Kim book I think this is the newest one this is number seven and I didn't have this one already so I love 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 Mindy Kim books and my students last year loved them as well and actually no that wouldn't be the newest because this one I ordered too totally forgot it was like a while ago that I ordered these so anyways got this Mindy Kim book so this is number eight and I already have all of them like up into that point and then I ordered there we go then I ordered this who was book in Spanish of Selena I have the English version already and then I really placed this order because I wanted the newest pigeon book my students are gonna be so excited a couple of them were like I saw that it's coming out soon mrs. Halls are gonna order it and I was like of course I am so it was on first book and I was so excited so I'll have to make sure I read that with my students today and then the last one that I ordered is all our neighbors and look at how cute this looks so this is the sequel of All Are Welcome, and I absolutely love that book. So yes, this is the very last one that I got. So anyways, that is going to be all for this vlog. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Also, another thank you to Nearpod for sponsoring this vlog. If you haven't already checked the link in the description box, please make sure that you check that out for three months of free premium membership. So check that out in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.